I first got into making jewelry about um, five years ago. I worked briefly for a company in Florida making jewelry, and then um, whenever I moved out here to Portland, I started going to jewelry school at the American Jewelers Institute, and I've just been doing it ever since. I decided to go to jewelry school because I have a background in um, fine arts, you know, which isn't very lucrative, so I wanted to do something where I could still be creative and use my hands and use tools and everything, and jewelry just seemed like a logical uh, progression after that. My favorite material to work with is probably um, silver wire. Um, I kind of I like working with it a lot because um, you can kind of think of it as a line and use it in a drawing process, you know, which brings it back to art and being more creative for me, and I can base it off of drawings that I make and kind of build them out of silver wire. I started working with silver wire um, just because I really got into soldering, you know, and it's a lot of that process too, which I really like. I really like enjoy using the torch, and um, so I kind of, uh, you know, form my shapes and then solder them all together, you know, so it's kind of just thinking about my favorite steps in the process of jewelry making and how I could use them more. I use a lot of different tools, um, a lot of uh, different types of hammers that I have. I have a rawhide mallet, which I really like, and a bunch of different hammers that are different sizes and different shapes for building texture on the silver. Um, I use a saw and um, also a, a little torch, and those are probably my favorite tools that I use, and then I have like a little anvil that I use to hammer on. I use a um, oxygen propane torch. And um, it's a little tiny torch, and um, it's great, you know, it still gets really hot, and it's great for soldering silver and um, annealing it, which is, um, you know, heating the silver so it gets soft, so it's easier to work with. I make all of my own jump rings, and um, I have this special little tool, it's a jump ring mandrel, and you take the wire and bend it around the um, mandrel, and, um, and then I take some um, just little snips and snip it off. And um, then I uh, take my saw frame and um, open it up and slide the jump rings on there and then lock the saw frame closed. And then once you have that done, you can just um, hold the jump rings in your hands and saw and you'll get a great like clean cut down the middle. I make jewelry mostly um, for probably women ages like I'd say 15 to you know 65 or something and it's kind of more casual and um, things that I would imagine myself wearing every day and I just kind of um, thought about you know simple shapes and what would go with everything you know and mostly it's just all um, you know shiny silver or oxidized silver but I do use a few little um, gemstones here and there to add some color.